All right, coming up next, a matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. So here we go as round one gets underway. Two world-class level strikers here, and the expectation is we're going to get a kickboxing match here in the round. Yes, we are going to get a striking match. One guy is very good at kicks. The other guy has unbelievable hands. Let's see what type of attack is going to win the battle of two great stand-up fighters. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, big left. Just misses with that one. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. Ooh, uppercut leads. Hook is there again. Oh, just open it up on him now. from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at two minutes, 53 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Surreal Fogas. All right, so we hear and still tonight, our UFC heavyweight champion came in. All right, coming up next, the matchup for the UFC heavyweight division title. All right, so here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Oh, that is a huge left hook from Francis Ngannou. Somehow, some way, his opponent's still standing. I mean, I, I, this guy's chin. Oh, huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh! So as we pull up some numbers here, oh. nine total strikes. Now, 
Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, he got it hurt bad. Back to the feet. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has thought a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 33 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Francis, the Predator, and Gano. Our tale of the date for this heavyweight championship fight. Both fighters are 33. In Gano weighed in at 250 pounds. Jones will have a one-inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a look see do fighter. Only a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 225 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, presenting the challenger, John Bones. John. This man is a boxer, only a professional record of 16 wins, three losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Paris, France, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner.
total strikes have now landed for Francis and Ghana. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? His misses are entertaining. Oh, huge left hand from Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, you feel like the fight might be ending. Yeah, absolutely. And the whole crowd holds their breath. Right. Right? You hear a big heck. In this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levin has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 11 seconds of the very first round. Join the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Francis the Predator and Gano. All right, so congratulations to Francis. Coming up next, it is a heavyweight title fight between John Jones and Francis and Gano. where this fight takes place. And Ganu gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Well, it didn't take him long to get a good read on his opponent. Another good series of kicks there. He thought the kicks would be the key tonight, and they sure have been. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take any more. Think about Edson Barbosa. How he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, huge left hand from Francis Ngannou. Every time he loads up and extends, you feel like the fight might be in it. Yeah, absolutely. And the whole crowd holds their breath. Right. right. You hear a big exhale. Every time Francis loads up to go finish a fight, you hear the crowd take all the air in yeah. because they're ready to explode. That's the type of performer, that's the type of fighter that Francis is. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. So 28 total strikes have landed for John Jones. It's broken, I think. Punch his blocks. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Ngannou gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Lands with a right hand. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. And Ganu gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Man, how good is his right hook now? Beautiful body kicks. Try to establish that jab. And that one was heavy. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. 
Jones gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Massive head kick. So an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Moving left hand misses the target. Oh, that right hand is on point. Ngannou's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. So the unofficial numbers thus far, 53 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. And connecting 52% accuracy against Francis Ngannou. Oh, effective strike there by the predator, Francis Ngannou. Another knockdown! Oh! and trying to shut the liver down. Oh! Three minutes to go in round two. Jones' kick to the body is blocked. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. The right hand just misses. And Ganu gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Jones is going to let his opponent stand up here. Two minutes remain in the round. Oh, an educated jab there. I could watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, it comes right back to his face. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Well, he has landed some good shots. Head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. He's going high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Back to the feet. time he may end the night. All right, next round is now underway. DC, mm -hmm. any major takeaways really? after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the opposite. It wasn't crazy. You got to see high level construction. Oh, Unbelievable. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact moment right he deserves to throw. That'll do it! Wow! Wow! 
Well, it's not every day in the UFC that you see a fight ended due to a leg kick, but that one was absolutely devastating. He took away that lead leg of his opponent, who became a one-legged fighter, and then it became just a matter of time. So somewhat anticlimactic here tonight, but not for the winner, as he gets one of the bigger TKO wins of his UFC career. So there he is, the consensus baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, and getting it done with a flurry of strikes here tonight. He is your winner by TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 47 seconds of round number three. Declared the winner by TKO and still.